learning through visualization so let's take an example here you can see a picture so i will tell you to check this check this picture out for like 10 minutes straight and see if you can memorize these random numbers or not so i have already seen this for 10 minutes but unfortunately i'm unable to remember this or unable to memorize this i don't know whether you can memorize this or not anyways so this was one picture and if we go for the second picture which is this this second picture we have like um 16 any more pictures in this and if i ask you to see this picture for 10 minutes straight i can guarantee that maximum of people will easily memorize it in for 10 minutes so uh you can answer what type of animals are present here so have you spotted the difference why am i showing you these two pictures to you so this is what visualization how visualization works so this is actually the magic of visualization so visuals etched into our etched into our brains than words do so what does that mean so according to dr lionel burmark who is a writer i think so he wrote this book which is the visual literacy learn to see and see to learn so what he said that he is an uh, education consultant who writes and speaks about visual literacy so what does he say he says unless our words concepts ideas are hooked onto an image they will go in one year sail through our brain and go out the other year so words are processed by our short-term memory where we can only retain about seven bits of information images on the other hand go directly into the long-term memory where they are indelibly etched so now we have understood that if we memorize things or try to learn things so through visualization it will actually etched into our brain we will not easily forget because that will be spotted in a part of our brain and you will like never you will never forget i won't like to say this you will not forget for this long time so uh another thing you can do is you can relate your study to your real life terms for example if you are learning about your digestive system then you can relate this topic to the previous day where you were having gas in your stomach so if you relate these things i'm sorry so if you relate these things and study in that way you can easily remember so this is this actually works because if you are connecting your lessons to your emotions or your visuals to your emotions that actually triggers 